people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to have a go at doing mushroom soup. Right that's all the ingredients I need so now I'm going to put two ounces of margin if it says butter but to my eyes it's same a bit more. of vegetable stock. Can't see the point if it's mushroom so but I can argue with internet. So I'm going to have to put the kettle on to crumble the stock that's the vegetables I don't know if you can see you see it yeah that's the vegetable stock not use these in a while I'm gonna break it up into a, a jug that measures a pint and while I'm doing that Good to start slicing an onion up and then I'm going to do the mushrooms. So I think I'll get rid of them scales, I don't need them. the skin off here. So that's the outer skin now. We're going to give it a little rinse under the tap. That's it, that done now. Slice that in half. Still got some skin that needs to come off, that's it. Now most of you have noticed I get rid of a lot of onion. So I've started cutting down on how much money how much onion I throw away. Now, slice this as very thinly as I can. I'm going to put them in the pan for when the uh, kettle is boiled and the stock's made. losing my fingers. That's it. So that's one onion sliced and put in. And I've also been told that instead of whacking things up to top heat to calm it, cool it down to only halfway. Kettle's taking long to boil, isn't it? Eh? We'll be here all night.
Now these mushrooms now I'm going to cut them up um, I've not washed them I've given them a wipe over because well I've got I've given them a wipe over and that's it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice them not too thin there into the pan I think it might have been better if I did uh, took the outer layer off, it doesn't matter anyway They've had a wipe over, what more do they want? So That's a bit of skin of that Right, so I'll just run the slices All these, what I've got while well, the stock is making stock It said um, you can even put chicken stock with, well, put chicken stock in for, instead, instead of vegetable stock, but I already had vegetable stock in, so I didn't bother getting something different. And these, if anyone wants to know, these are fresh today, these mushrooms. Now the stock is melted. Is it melted? Dissolved, that's the word. I'm going to put it now in the pan. It's very watery, my dear. Vegetable. And all the mushrooms on the board that was on the board did actually fit in the pan. A bit hasn't dissolved on the bottom. Let's give it a little swirl around. And that's it, it's all out. And before. Mix it all round, um, and like I said, it's got to be on a medium heat, which in my case is number four, I think. So I'm going to add a little salt, no, that's pepper, a little bit of hot pepper, and salt. As you can see, it's reduced a lot, so I've been told and all to add some some time to it. Can't tell you if I've any, but I put some in. Well, I can just see a bit of it here. I'm going to mix it. Like I said, it's on a medium heat, and it's cooking nicely. I've got to wait now till it simmers or bubbles, whichever one it is, whichever one does first. I'm going to leave it to simmer anyway and hopefully it will start bubbling in time and then we'll see how it goes. Right, the mushroom soup's done. Um, I know normally the mushroom soup it's all white but I've got different mushrooms so that's it, that's the reason why it's not. <clears throat> so anyway, like I say, it seems done, it's been cooking for hours. Well, a long time. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to team some out and I'm going to let Lee try because Lee is allowed mushrooms. So I'm going to turn the ring off obviously. I'll just put a bit in the dish. Put a juice in. And then I'm going to let tea, tea. <laughs> let Lee taste it. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the end product. No. End product of mushroom soup. Now Lee's coming to do the taste test. Well, you're not crunchy you now, so it must be done well. You know when you have a chicken casserole? Yeah. Um, well it tastes like a chicken casserole, casserole without the chicken. So it's pretty nice, so yeah. Thumbs up. Mm. 
very good. Right, I hope that gave you a rough idea on how to do mushroom soup or a form of mushroom soup. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a big old thumbs up, it'd be much appreciated. And if you want to leave a comment, please feel free, the more the merrier. And if you want to subscribe or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get them subscribing. Let's get up to 20,000. Thank you. Bye.